Hi everyone, welcome again to another video clip. As always on a Friday, we look at accent reduction and ways to present to show uh, more fluency in a text. Over the last few Fridays, we've spoken about intonation and the importance of putting your voice up and down. For example, when I heard that a friend was coming to visit for a few days, my heart sank. So you can hear there that it goes up and down. When I heard that a friend was coming to visit for a few days, my heart sank. If this was monotone without intonation, it would sound like this. When I heard that a friend was coming to visit for a few days, my heart sank. Sounds more like something from the Vatican, you know, rising early, chanting badly. So this is not the way you want to speak. But having said that, you don't want to exaggerate your uh, intonation either. As I often say, when I go to the coffee shop here in the UK, I don't walk in and say, I would like a latte, please. So you have to get a balance right. And the way you do that is by watching and listening to other people, particularly a voice that you trust. That's a really great way of uh, dealing with this. So just begin to notice not what people are saying, but how you're being presented with information. That's my first point of the day. My second point, as I've mentioned before, is all about joining the words together. So, as a typical, you can move the S over to the A and say, as a typical, as a typical British man, I know that friends staying over, so those two S's are kind of joined there, usually causes a lot of stress. So again, the S onto the A causes a lot of stress. The thing that makes your reading very difficult for people like me to listen to is because you leave a lot of spaces. I had a lesson with someone the other day and, uh, oh, they left a lot of spaces. Oh, it was brutal listening to them, really. When I heard that a friend was coming, oh, honestly. Um, yeah, so it's just about pushing the words together. That's the most important thing. Let's just move down a little bit here. Deep breath in. As I am married to someone from South America, I've had to get used to this idea of family and guests. So you can hear there that the spaces have gone, and that's really what you're aiming for, to get rid of the spaces. And there we are. Uh, so it's not difficult, it just takes a lot of practice, and your first place needs to be Finding a nice voice that you trust in whatever accent you like, that could be British or American, and using that to move on with. Okay, so very good, very good. There we are. Right, uh, that's it from me for this week. Uh, so remember, just as you're reading, push the words together and also add in a little bit more intonation. You'll be surprised at what that does. As I've mentioned before, you know, uh, if you ask me how I am, you're going to hear the same word, fine, but it's my intonation that will tell you how I am. How are you, Teacher Joseph? Fine, fine, oh, fine. <laughs> so, yeah, you need to start reading that, learning that language of intonation which is used. There we are. Right, I'll see you again next week with a brand new weekly lesson. I hope you've enjoyed this. Take care and have a lovely, lovely weekend. Bye.